Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this amplifier circuit and we have been given that the two MOSFETs are operating in the saturation region. And here we have been also given the W by L ratio of the two MOSFETs. So here we have been asked to find the voltage gain. Now initially if you observe the circuit, then it appears that there is a no resistor in this amplifier circuit. But if you see this MOSFET M1, then it is the diode connected transistor. So this diode connected transistor is a technique to convert a three terminal device into the two terminal device. And in the AC equivalent circuit, it will appear as a resistor. So to find the voltage gain, now let us replace this circuit by the AC equivalent circuit. So for the AC analysis, this DC voltage sources will act as a zero. And if you see the equivalent circuit, then it will look like this. So now let us replace these two MOSFETs M1 and M2 by the small signal equivalent circuit. And first of all, let us replace this MOSFET M1 by the small signal equivalent circuit. So here if you observe, then the drain and the gate terminal are connected together. And the drain terminal is connected to the ground terminal. So in the equivalent circuit, it can be represented like this. Similarly, now let us see the small signal equivalent circuit of this MOSFET M2. So in case of the M2, the small signal equivalent circuit will look like this. So there is an input signal between the gate and the source terminal and the output is measured between the drain and the source terminal. And if you see the overall equivalent circuit, then it will look like this. So here, the source of this MOSFET M1 is connected to the drain terminal. So as I said, since the MOSFET M1 is a diode connected transistor, so it can be replaced by the equivalent resistance. And this resistance is the equivalent resistance which is seen from this side. So to find the equivalent resistance, let us apply a test voltage to the M1. And let us find the test current which is flowing through this voltage source. So the ratio of this Vx and Ix will give us the equivalent resistance. Let's call that resistance as the Rx. So here, this test voltage is applied between the source and the ground terminal. Or effectively, we can say that it is applied between the source and the gate terminal, right? That means here, this voltage Vx is equal to minus Vgs1. And this current is equal to Ix. So if we apply the KCL at this node, then we can write current Ix plus Id1 is equal to 0 or we can say that current Ix is equal to minus Gm1 times Vgs1 and since the voltage Vgs1 is equal to minus Vx so we can say that current Ix is equal to minus Gm1 times minus Vx that means Vx divided by Ix or the equivalent resistance is equal to 1 over gm1 so this is the equivalent resistance which is seen from this side that means in the equivalent circuit it can be represented like this and since this resistor is connected between the drain and the ground terminal or effectively between the drain and the source terminal so it can be represented like this so for this circuit the output voltage v out is equal to minus id2 times 1 over gm1 or we can say that it is equal to minus gm2 times vgs2 divided by gm1 and here since vgs2 is equal to the input signal so we can say that this v out divided by v in or the voltage gain is equal to minus gm2 divided by gm1 that means for this amplifier circuit, the voltage gain is equal to minus gm2 divided by gm1. Now if you are aware, then this transconductance gm can also be given as square root of 2 times mu n times cox times w by l times id, where id is the drain current. And here, since both transistors are connected in the series connection, so the same drain current is flowing through both transistors. That means here, ID1 
is equal to id2 is equal to id so for the first transistors this gm1 can be written as square root of 2 times mu n times cx times w by l 1 times id similarly this gm2 will be equal to square root of 2 times mu n times cx times w by l2 times id so if we take the ratio of this gm2 and the gm1 then this voltage gain can be given as minus square root of w by l2 divided by square root of w by l1 now in the question we have been given that the w by l ratio of this second transistor is equal to 25 while for the first transistor it is equal to 9 that means the voltage gain is equal to minus of square root of 25 divided by 9 or we can say that it is equal to 5 by 3 that means the voltage gain is equal to minus 1.667 so this is the voltage gain of this amplifier circuit that means for the given question the voltage gain is equal to minus 5 by 3 or it is equal to minus 1.667